There's Elliot in the green in second place. Smith right behind in third. Still an outside chance, but one or two of these riders might make something of this race in the closing stages. But higher up at the Waterworks corner, Miller's driving has closed the gap on Lovett, who's gone quickly off the back. Round two has finally cracked, and Clay is also struggling. Now there's only Walker left as the Flying Scot steps up the pressure, as they all knew that he would. And here, look at this, Miller launching a big attack. Walker just can't respond, and the inevitable gap opens. Surely now, Miller is on his way to a superb solo victory and his first national pro road race championship. On the higher part of the climb now, and Miller is now well clear. Still, though, pushing hard. Look at his face. He may not know it, but he's going to smash the previous race record by a considerable margin. The worst part of the climb is over now, and only a mishap can now deny Miller a superb victory. Walker's now over a minute behind, but still on his own, but there's a real battle on for the minor placings, as that chase group closes in on Clay, Rand and Lovett. Miller, meanwhile, continues on his victorious way, in what has been the fastest running ever of this historic race. When he was beaten by Lawrence in a sprint finish in 78, the race time was 5 hours, 1 minute, 55 seconds. Incredibly, his time on this occasion is ultimately almost half an hour faster, 4.32.53 to be precise. And so, that chequered flag is out for him at last. It's been a famous and well-deserved climax to a glittering career for the Scotsman, as an appreciative crowd at the Douglas Grandstand applauds home the 1995 British professional road race champion and winner of the 54th Max International Road Race, Robert Miller. So, Miller the winner. Walker holding on for second place, but Frenchman Pierre Peno getting up right at the end to snap third place, although it was Lily White in fourth place on the line who took bronze in the professional championship. But at the end of it all, the only name on everyone's lips was that of the 36 years old Scotsman, Robert Miller. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely gesture, Robert. Welcome back to the British Isles, and what a way to come back. I mean, you've always supported the professional championship whenever your career has allowed you to, but now you've got the jersey on your shoulders. What does it feel like? It's a nice feeling. It's a long time since I wore one of these jerseys. It's about, uh, I think, 17 years ago, the last time I wore a, a national jersey. That was when you were the amateur road race champion? Yeah, when I won in the, uh, in the amateurs. So... Uh, it's a good way to finish my career. And it's a good way for us to finish our look at the International Cycling Week of 95, as the Isle of Man looks forward to the 60th anniversary celebrations of the Manx International in 96.